We're in Bozeman, Montana today. Uh, this is Jeff Choate. I'm the head football coach at uh, Montana State University. Kane I own our linebackers coach and assistant head coach. We're going to demonstrate some of the tackling applications with the Gilman Tackling Donut. Okay. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on a, uh, on a sideline profile tackle linebacker in that position. You see we can create a variety of different angles as we roll the donut. What we're going to, what we're going to focus on here is low eyes. Our, our aiming point is going to be the front tip right here. Okay. What we want to do is low eyes equals low pads, eyes through the thighs. Sometimes people use that, but we're a, sh a shoulder leverage tackling team. We want to own our leverage and we always lead with our shoulder. This particular tool allows us, allows us to train that way without any pads on. Okay, so what we're looking, on, looking for here is great low eyes, low pads, left side player. He's got left side leverage on the ball, so he wants to initiate his contact with his right foot forward and his right shoulder, and it should be a one foot takeoff. Here we go. Good look right there, nice job, nice job. Okay, next man, we'll just get a couple of these. Good job, looking for that one foot takeoff again. We don't want to launch off of two feet, our eyes go down, okay? We can even create a different angle with the same deal. Nice job staying with tight feet right there. Again, working for a right, a right foot lead, right shoulder tackle. The thing we like about this tool is it's easy to reset. You can create a variety of different angles in a short amount of time and there's no impact at all really on the player, okay? So if we're coming to, now another application that you don't, a lot of people don't think about is a head-on tackle. Not, not a profile tackle, we just demonstrated, but now a squared up tackle, okay? So now we're gonna put the linebacker in this particular situation, the defender's gonna come from a right side position. So he still wants to initiate contact, so he's got those low eyes, eyes through the thighs, looking for that clamp, that wrap. But what we're doing here is again, because we've established our leverage, we're a leverage shoulder tackling team, We've established our leverage on the right side. We're going to be in a left foot lead, left shoulder tackle position. Go ahead and finish it to the ground. Good. You can see even there's a little bit of wind out here today, so I, you can even see how it just adjusts slightly as, as the ball carrier approaches. Nice job. So you can create a variety of different loops. Go to the other side. Right side or left side player, right foot lead. Nice job right there. Head is always out of it. This isn't a heads up tackling type of di dialogue that we're having here, this is a heads out. We don't even talk about where our head is, it's always about where our eyes are. Okay, let's go back to the other side now. Okay, now we're gonna work, we're gonna work a backside profile tackle. So our aiming point's gonna be here. Again, when we were working the other side, it was a front side, now we're on the back side. Okay, so I can, again, I can create different angles coming out from a variety of positions. Ready, go. Track the hip, one foot takeoff. We wanna stay in the clamp, don't launch quite as much. Tighten your feet up as you get into position. Okay, ball carrier could be working away from you, towards you, or flat down the line. Good job right there. All right, here we go. Ready, go. Nice job, nice job. One of the things that happens a lot of times, one of the reasons we like this as an application for us in tackling is because it creates, it creates what we call an organic tackling environment. It's not just the ball carrier's here, the tackler's here, here's the junction point. We can create a variety of different angles with, the, with this tackling application. One of the things that you can do, simple as this, you can do this with the ball carrier, you can do it with the tackling donut. You just tell the, the tackler, this young man right here in front, Max is gonna go either around the numbers, around the bag, or around the hash. As he enters the chute, the coach can shoot that, 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 uh, that pad at a variety of different angles. So it could become a head up tackle, in that position, it could be or a squared up tackle in that position, it could be a profile tackle. Now our eyes are constantly have to change just like it happens in real football. Good, good, good. Next man up. Here we go. Ready? Nice, nice, nice. Now it becomes up profile tackle. Stay take keep taking the air out. Keep taking the air out. Long stride, short stride, tamp. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Keep accelerating, keep accelerating. One of the things you guys need to do when you come out, you gotta fly out of there, fly out of there. Close ground, close ground. Ready? Come on, go get it. There it is, that's a good rep right there. Make sure we're staying in the full clamp right there. Ready? Good, come on out, accelerate, accelerate. Good, 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 nice job right there, okay. Last one right here, ready? Go get it, accelerate. There we go, much better. All right, good. 
So you can see some of the variety. Again, we've got our profile down the line tackle with a front side or a back side application. You've got your squared up tackle, you've got your decision making drill. And then the last thing that we can do that we'll demonstrate today from a tackling perspective, and then we'll show you some other applications for the, for the, uh, for the apparatus. This is just gonna be a shed to a gator tackle. So the agile bags represent the ball carrier. So I'm scraping over the top. I'm simply just same foot, same shoulder, working a shed to a near side gator tackle. Okay, so you good on that, Mac? All right, so he'll shoot that at you straight ahead. You can move that away. I can even hold it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hit. Good. Right there. Nice job. Nice job. Hang on just a second. Let me reset. Ready? Hit. Head to the side or behind. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Good, good, good. Okay. So one of the things that you can see right here the, the, the tool has all the same functionality of, of like a shadow man with about a hundred times less setup and takedown. So we can have this, we can have this apparatus move down the line. You know, if there's no wind out here, you roll that thing, it'll go for 25, 30 yards. Okay. And so these guys can get a ton of work without putting a lot of load on them physically. We can teach the fundamentals of tackling the way we want to teach them. And we can do it in an organic environment where it's not the same rep every single time. Here's, here's the deal, we talked about some applications that this has for, for the tackling part of it. Now we're gonna show you some offensive applications. So here's one example of a great way that you can create a simulate, a slide protection, a full line slide protection. You've got your offensive line sliding that direction, your tailback's right here. We cut the defensive end or the outside linebacker loose, hot off the edge. He's gotta get him on the ground because it's quick game, gotta get his hands down. All right, here we go, ready, hit. Good, okay, so you're getting an opportunity to explode full, use your hips. Do everything that you want to do in terms of simulating that protection concept, but you're not literally cutting anybody, and it's taking it pretty easy on him as well. So another op opportunity for us to keep player safety in mind, but still create and simulate the game day activities. All right, let's go to the other side. So let's say we got full line slide this way. Hot off the edge right here. All right, here we go. Set, hit. Good, right there. You see much better hip extension that time. Did a great job of leading with the same fit, same shoulder. All right, now. Now we got a little cross pop action. Center picks up the penetrator. Here comes the wheel linebacker scraping over the top. We got a 245 pound Mike linebacker. We got a 190 pound tailback, all right? 196, all right, here we go. Set, hit. Good, 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 nice job, nice job. So you see a, different, a variety of different applications that we have for this product. A lot of different ways that you can get creative. That's just a couple that we shared with you today. Yes. Ooh.